Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at a game from Queen Games. This is Stefan Dora's Pirates featuring Bonnie Lass. And if Bonnie Lass is a character that exists outside of the world of this board game, I'm not familiar with it, so apologies there if this is a pre-existing IP that I'm not familiar with. This game is from three to five players in about 45 minutes. Riches await those who are fearless and brave. Capture ships and ships and discover lost places to gain booty and ducats. Band together with other pirates to assemble tough boarding parties and spread fear among the high seas. But beware, pirates don't work for free. All right, well, let's take a look inside the box and see if we can get an idea on how the game plays. I mean, we know what the theme is so far and we've seen a bit of the art. Here's a very big cardboard token here. Let's just put that to the side. So, looks like we have a multilingual rule book. Let's see if we can find the English rules, which looks like they are on the opposite side. Here we go. So, here are our components. We have six lost ruin cards, 13 shift ca ship cards, and this is the black spot, according to this rule book. And we've got 25 pirates, which look like they may be wooden discs. I'm not sure. We'll find out here in a moment, but it sure looks that way. Here's our setup, um, and it says that the game is played in a series of turns. The active player must always choose one of the four possible actions. You can either assemble a boarding party, capture, mutiny, or ransom a pirate. And then it goes into more detail about those actions, and they look like at least these first two involve those wooden discs. Actually, it looks like all of them do, which makes sense. Okay, and then it talks about the black spot and the sea monster, ending the game and final scoring, and they give you an example of final scoring. So, it does not look like a complex game, at least in uh, rule set, which is nice. It looks like it's uh, going to be relatively quick to teach and learn, I would imagine, based off those rule sets as well. We've got a number of cardboard pieces, and they seem to be very well done. They are easy to pop out, almost too easy. I'm trying to keep them from all falling out, but some, a bit of art there. These have quite a bit more art, and I actually think that's nice art, my personal opinion. Okay, we've got some large, I'm guessing these are the, the ducats, the kind of currency, or maybe even points. All right, more cardboard. Okay. There's one of our five points. Now the 10 points getting ready to pop out. It's all getting ready to pop out. All right. So it looks like these are gonna have to be stickered. All right, so there are the stickers for these wooden discs, which as you can see are just nice, chunky wooden discs. And so you sticker those up and then you've got the main component of the game. There's not a whole lot of components in the game. It looks like it's mostly these cardboard tiles and those wooden discs that are going to get stickered up before your first play. All right, well, there have been a number of pirate-themed games here lately, and this is another one to add to the list. This is Stefan Dora's Pirates. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.